Hey again, Rowan Huang. <laughs> I was having a hard time deciding what, what topic can I use for this conversation I want to share with you guys. But anyway, let's just set it up as a stage of spiritual learning. <laughs> Hopefully, like kind of match the topic that I want to talk today. But anyway, before I begin, let me first introduce myself. My name is Rowan Huang. I'm an author, spirit coach, and also a psychic. Today, I want to talk about stage of spiritual learning. Hmm, I know it's kind of hard to understand, but let me start with uh, uh, some reader actually asked me a question. She said, um, I don't know why I will have a feeling of despise or a disrespectful feeling coming up on me. What my question is, if um, debating, debating is also an option. When you believe you are right and then you want to debate with someone and to tell them whatever they did is wrong, right? So you would then, then you're afraid to say more. So when you really want to say what you think, but you know they will debate with you, they will deny everything you say anyway. So you would choose to be silent instead. But if you don't say it out, then you kind of suppress yourself. So um, such kind of things keep going on will eventually defeat your own self-confidence. But if you speak it out, people will defend you anyway, back and forth, as you can see how confused she is. <laughs> so she wants to know, you know, how do you... Um, the best way for her is if she doesn't think she's right, then she would not have that dis, uh, disrespectful feeling coming out. So basically, all she wants to ask is how can she prevent that from happening? I know it's a very confusing question. Even I get confused by reading it. But anyway, uh, by doing that, let me share some personal experience with you. I can only share my personal experience. Um, through my psychic journey, as you say, as you can only imagine, I, I have a lot of people, I got, you know, countless people can't wait to tell me how wrong I am. Can't wait to tell me how wrong I am, <laughs> you know, because... Buddhism doesn't believe that, or Christianity doesn't believe that, Catholic doesn't believe that. I mean, I mean for the moment, I, I was curious to understand every language. They are eager to tell me how wrong I was. Okay, so I get it. I get it. But what I'm saying is, I, let me put it this way. I'm a very arrogant person. I am. I really am. <laughs> Even though Chinese ethically, we're supposed to be humble, but... I'm arrogant. I'm arrogant in a way of knowing what I know today. I did it step by step. I did, I learned it. I seek for truth myself. So even my truth doesn't belong to someone else's truth, which is fine by me. Why? Very simple. That is, when I share something with you, when you don't disagree, that you totally disagree with me, that's totally fine by me. Why? As I keep learning, I guess the stage of learning is when I don't know, I'm eager to learn. You will learn to a point. That's called point called, we call average point. Average point. When I start to learn above average point, I couldn't help. I would think I know more than other people. You know what I mean? I would feel the need to share with people to point out how wrong they are. It was not until my higher spirit actually pointed it out and corrected me and saying, my, my job or my purpose is not to point out how wrong people are. My job is not to create a religion myself, but to seek for truth in every religion. That's then I start, you know, dig into every religion and start to think, oh, I thought I already know a lot, but according to you, it seems I know so little, right? It was then I start to dig into more religions, start to understand more. It was then I start to realize I really know nothing. I really know nothing, right? So I also start understanding how everybody were born different. Everybody was meant to guide by spirit guide differently. Everybody was meant to have a different understanding. Just because I like doesn't mean everybody else have to like it. You know what I mean? Just because I think it's truth to me does not mean it's truth to everybody else. Today I'm sharing as you will hear me saying this so many times. You know, I can only share what I know. What I know may or may not be truth to you. But I'm hoping to help those that actually would resonate 
whatever I'm sharing with you would resonate with you. Of course, if it doesn't resonate with you, you can easily unlike me or you can easily go away. That's fine because I understand you and me are different people. Does that make sense to you? On my broadcast, you hear this a lot. I say everybody, everybody, you know, are a special individual. That means you will have your own platform, you have your own task, you are your you will have your own religions, your belief, your whatever. We have to apply that to everything else. That is, we are all different. That is, if what you like may not be what I like, and I'm okay with it. Why? Because at the end, this is my journey, not your journey. You may not agree with me, but that's okay because I'm living my journey, not your journey. See, the problem goes to we live in a society. We continue pointing out the faults of other people. What's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? We forget to reflect ourselves. But if you really understand, we all born here. Really, at the end of the day, we wanna fulfill our own purpose. We wanna overcome our own task. Then, whatever you say, whatever you say, really doesn't matter. Why? Because it based on not like I don't care, not like I'm disrespectful, but it based on my respect of everybody is different. So, for your question, for you to still worry about people denying you, yes, you might cry out loud saying people don't respect me and I could not do it. You please do understand. You also do not respect individuality. I mean, I'm different from you. You are different from me. That's all cool. So whatever you like doesn't mean they have to like it. Even what you think is correct, I think is correct. Understand that's your truth. That is not their truth. You know what I mean? What you believe this is right. You have to only do it this way. Again, it's your truth. It's not their truth, which might apply perfectly on you. That does may or may not apply perfectly on them. So if you really understand them, then you realize it doesn't matter. They disagree with you. It doesn't really matter, <laughs> you know, because individuality make us different. Individuality make us doing things we're good at. He's they are doing the things they're good at, and then eventually understand this world. We live in a world we continue to try to hope the world better. The hope hope the world is better so we can have a better life. But just imagine this: if everybody take. That time to take care of themselves and make themselves a better person. All I'm asking, instead of trying to control the whole millions of people out there, I'm just asking you to take control of yourself or your family. This little circle that you're living in, you make sure you are getting better every day. Imagine that everybody redirect their focusing on themselves. This world is already a better place, really, already a better place because people will know. Uh, where they should go, people will know what they should do. People will show respect to one another, whether they agree or disagree. So anyway, I'm here to talk about a stage of spirituality. Then again, now you can see how confused I am. I really don't know what title will fit in this. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, you hear this story so many times. It's like a glass of water. You hear this so many times. When you're empty, which is that you don't know anything, you don't know how to talk. You know, because you have nothing to talk about. When you know this much or even more, it makes noise all the time. It makes noise all the time. That's just our human nature. We feel the need to share, and then we need, we know. We just talk all the time. But as you see, when you get full, right? Somewhere along your spiritual journey from here to here, when you start having a broader understanding of this universe, when you start having a broader understanding of this world, then you. Create or generate something called acceptance. Acceptance to someone, something even though they are different from you, because somewhere along this way you gain acceptance. Therefore, you learn to be humble. You learn to keep it quiet. You know what I mean? You learn, even though they agree, you will still say whatever you say. For me, in my position, I always encourage people to find your voice. So I will never ask you to shut up, but I will ask you. To find the word that best fit for you, find a way of tone of speaking that speak you. It is it cannot be done without making mistake. You will make mistake, but that's okay. At the end goal, you wanna find your language. You wanna find something that speak you, right? So along the journey of it, you find acceptance. You you will understand it's okay. People are different from you. It's okay. People disagree with you. 
right? That acceptance is how help you reach higher level of spirituality. So anyway, confusing question ended up having a confusing answer, but hope that answer your question. So if you want to ask me how to reduce that this, this despise or disrespectful feeling that you have gaining within you, all I can say is keep learning, keep learning. You will get there. You know, when people, instead of always think people is out there to get you or out there to criticize you, maybe sometimes just step back and think there's some truth in them. You know what I mean? There's some truth in them. Maybe I haven't heard the truth yet. That's why I have a need to defend myself. Now ask yourself, why do I have the need to defend myself? Just because it's truth to them. If you really don't agree, that's true. If you really don't believe whatever they say is true. Just because it's truth to them doesn't mean it has to be for you. So anyway, for you guys' reference, to conquer that, understand the individuality. Trust me, it goes a long way. We don't have to all be the same. You know, we are not factor manager manufacturer anyway. <laughs> we can all be different. So again, if you like what I'm doing, you can always join me live on Facebook or go to subscribe my YouTube channel or my website, ruwn.com. Till then, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.